we've got this feature courtesy of Hype Beast, where they're featuring the Cold War Dr. Martin collaboration 1461. And I've got to say, they look incredible, incredible. Maybe one of the best um, recent collaborations I've seen with like a designer or like a brand in Dr. Martin's in a while. I have to be honest, maybe since the Rick Owens, which just come out recently, but you know what I mean, right? A lot of people, a lot of brands have kind of done collaborations with Dr. Martin's, and for the most part, they've been fairly mediocre. They haven't necessarily, you know, um, changed anything no one's really gone out their way to purchase them but i think the way that sammy ross has put the shoe together the way it looks the fact that without even it being too loud it still kind of speaks to the code of a cold war and it sort of in my opinion represents um what does it represent it kind of represents where they're at as a brand now right it's the sort of um um living breathing embodiment of all the hard work that they've kind of done over the years the refinement in their vision the refinement in their craft in their palette in their taste level um in their ability to design to construct like it just feels perfect for me like i felt like that nike air force one the first one they did the strap obviously with the laces i thought that was a, you know, a magnus opus that was one of those things that it's just hard to top in it right how genius that was especially when you consider how they used to you know dip dye some of the old air force ones for their first shows and the fact that he got a chance to make his own shoe and he made such a brilliant brilliant shoe that again spoke really well to the brand um that he's able to he's been able to cultivate over the years and you know i think somebody said it i forgot who but a cold war really is the uk version of like imperial Armani, in it you can definitely see a cold war going like to you know the sky's the limit with them in terms of what they want to do they could obviously double back down and you know maybe trim the fat and go a bit avant-garde and occupy that sort of like Dries van noten sort of you know area of things or they could go and just cash out and do like the imperial money thing where you still got the ability to just kind of talk to the fashion heads but also you're able to be sold in some of the biggest department stores around the world you have retail stores located all around the world too and you're just smashing it year on year because people come to you every season for a particular cut of a jacket a particular cut of a pen a particular cut of a bag because they just trust your vision they trust your craft work and i definitely see that with a cold war going forward but this dr martin 4061 is amazing it's such a great um sort of um what do you call it it's such a great way to um, elevate a shoe that in my opinion is a classic you know the Dr. Martin 4061 is a shoe you don't really mess with too tough similar to like again to an Air Force One um, but the way that they built on top of it and made it look their own is just superb it really is and this colorway is just banging you got this sort of like cementy granite looking block there on top you've got these you know embossed uh, silver sterling silver sort of uh, you know fastens here around here um i think this is sort of what, what would you say would you say that's kind of embossed as well this bit here this all kind of protrudes you've got the nice kind of obviously motif here on the back of the heel and a zip right down the front with no laces whatsoever so you can just slip these on and keep it moving now the only thing i'd say about 1461 having worked in dr martin's and worn these shoes plenty of times they are feet killers um i'd hope maybe behind the scenes sam would be able to do something in terms of comfort and how they fit but if there's one thing i've learned about dr Myers over the years they're not just like comfortable easy van slippers that you just slide on and you just continue to go about you know go about your day there are shoes that you have to decide whether when how you're going to break them in or if you are going to break them in make sure you have a pair of slides or something in your bag that you can wear because sooner or later your heels will bleed your feet will get sore and it just won't be a pleasant experience from my own opinion but again maybe something's different with the designer shoes or the collaborations they put together maybe the leather's softer maybe they've increased some of the proportions they've changed the shaft they've done, you know little things that you could do to kind of um tweak um that will basically place the foot in different places and maybe not lead to so much uh blisters and whatnot but yeah these look incredible man really great they've even got the little tonal um coloring there on the back label right where it says like airwear usually where does it, what does it say there yeah exactly it's usually got the airwear here it's all leather as well oh to the, the silver buttons out the back that's brilliant i love that i wonder if they i wonder if a cold war will end up implementing this sort of um we even call it branding but you know similar to what like a martin margella does with the stitching on the outside i wonder if this will be something that they kind of implement or they've already implemented in their collections overall whether you see this on the back of jumpers on the back of anoraks on the back of 
you know maybe on the back of the belt loop of a trouser or something i don't know but i love it and it looks like the sole has been somewhat um exaggerated too maybe it's like a double sole it looks like a little bit um again expertly done um the fact that they've sort of it's about that it's just one color block so you don't really see any idea what do you call it is it the welt right in terms of how it kind of is put together it's kind of it looks like a little bit of a similar sole to like a Jaden which you know if you know anything about um Dr. Martin you know it's one of the most popular shoes ever nowadays right everyone's kind of got a pair of Jadens but these look amazing man Sammy Ross absolutely smashed these I'm not going to lie um I, I wonder if there's a little bit it's good there's going to be a little clothing collection a clothing capsule collection with them or if it's just a shoes and I wonder also whether or not something like this, obviously he designed them ahead of time. I wonder if this design has kind of played a role in influencing the overall runway show and whether or not there are pieces in the general collection that you can purchase now that would go really well with these shoes. I'm not too sure, but either way, amazing, amazing shoe. Very well put together. Um, the final product is fucking banging. I respect these to sell out because they look beautiful you can't really go wrong with a pair of you know blue or sorry with a, with, a, with a pair of like concrete gray derby looking type shoes especially from dr martins because you know even though they might be uncomfortable they're going to be bulletproof so let's read the quickly read some of the blurb here courtesy of hypebeast it says collaborations appear to be more desired when it comes to the boot load um of footwear launches that occupy sorry that occur every month and this is certainly isn't an area where dr martins is lacking this season we've seen the uk imprint take on a wide variety of collaborations and partnerships with the likes of jound atmos soy um, have you pronounced that name and the cold war for the new 1461 graphite collaboration the second um occasion that these brands have linked together the first being the june 20th to july 2020 with a stark black 1460 um this like this inaugural team up this newest offering focuses on functionality again i prefer this 4061 as again even though i'm a big fan of black boots and i have way too many in my collection um there's something about being able to buy a pair of these in their particular color and having to figure out where it kind of works and outfits and just have something different in your wardrobe overall that definitely is something that i would kind of vibe with so for sure it says like it's an overall team up this newest offering focuses on functionality up move there and minimalism the low slung boot comes prepared with a smooth leather upper that are flooded with the graphite hues the overlays have been slightly modified with the original aesthetic and arrive with a sharper cuts along the midfoot and heel to provide a more technical inspired look that aligns with the cold war aesthetic additionally Sammy Rose decided to follow the same cadence as the aforementioned 4060 collab by stripping away laces and certain zippered closures down the throat and adding a debossed acw hit on the lateral flow down below the semi chunky sole units contrast with an all black exterior yeah it is it's not really double sold it's like uh you know a quarter sold right there's definitely an extra sort of mm, bump put on there they kind of look similar on the sole to like the made in england 1461s they have a little bit of a chunkier silhouette a chunkier outsole sorry maybe that's where they're sort of taking inspiration from some of those made in england 4061 i knew i should have purchased more of those when i was working there but you know whatever we move we move down below the this um, release is due of september 2nd so that's going to be tomorrow um obviously it being september 1st today so if you're a fan of these and you're a fan of what cold will do definitely go and check them out because this is definitely one of the better collaborations i've seen in recent years